YouTube, Sandy Frank here. Today I'm going to be showing, um, this is a collection of my uncle's. Um, I just uh, recently found out that he had this stuff and um, really cool and I wanted to show it on the camera. So it, it is kind of funny, it's in a pink binder, but it is really cool stuff. It is, I believe this is a complete set of, 1992 Marvel Masterpiece. Let me try to figure out how to show this really well on the camera. So I think I'm going to have to move the camera. So here we go. Let me show the set. Really cool. I've never seen any of these cards. Um, I've seen some 94 Masterpiece stuff, but not 92. But I don't think they're like super rare or anything. They're just really cool. And I figure this is a good time to show this collection. Archangel there. I did look at the cards um, as far as like, there's what the backs look like. I did look at the cards and I did not see anything that I would like think, oh, that's going to get a PSA 10. Um... I think it's more mass produced stuff. I think this was back in yeah, yeah, obviously ninety-two. And um sport or trading cards were not quite as um nice as they get printed today where it's easy to get PSA tens. So I think PSA tens of this kind of stuff is probably very tough to get. <clears throat> Some really cool cards, and I definitely wanted to show them on the video. There's a nice Doctor Strange. Yeah, they say these old uh, Marvel masterpieces set are really nice, and I see why. It's just really cool art that they did in this set. The Hulk. Green Goblin. And as far as I know, this is like a complete base set. I'm, I'm sure there's probably inserts and stuff, but I, that I did not find that he had there. Kingpin. Mandarin. <laughs> Loki. Some really great art. And of course, Marvel Masterpieces nowadays, it's so expensive now. I can't even buy one box. I mean, it's crazy. Um, there was a time when I was able to open some of that on the channel, but it just, it's completely gone nuclear as far as prices are. <clears throat> Which stinks, because I love to open that stuff on the channel, but they're just, I'm not in the price range that they're looking for, apparently, for Marvel Masterpieces. Which, that's cool. There's definitely some videos of people opening it. Pretty cool to go back and look at some of the previous sets. Some really, really awesome art. Um, Marvel Masterpieces is always really cool because it's like a new bit, a new imagining of all these characters by a different artist. And um, like I was a big fan of Dave Palumbo's Master Marvel Masterpieces. I think it was two thousand. 20. Love that set. Spidey.
Thor. This Thor card is incredible. Really love that one. That might be my favorite card from the set, actually. <clears throat> Venom. And that's it. And there was also some DC, Impel DC cards in here too. But this is going to be about the Marvel stuff. So, whoa, <laughs> I almost turned the camera upside down. All right, so uh, thank you for uh, watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Just wanted to show, um, you know, in the Hobby Talk episode, some uh, old uh, Marvel stuff. Now, <clears throat> I will say, guys, in the comments below, do you like this old Marvel stuff? Is it better than the new Marvel Masterpieces? I think it's definitely way better than some of the sets that they put out. But um, the card quality is the only thing that's not quite up to snuff. But it's not like uh, Upper Deck is doing amazing card quality on the uh, releases they're putting out now. Lots of uh, poor card quality and it's really tough to grading that stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to show those. I thought they were amazing. Um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos later. Niki Milane, Mashmine Dashmira, Mani Emoye, Sutse Ok Papira, Pada Kiga Dam, Kao Visit Kartu, Neveran Si Ok Padashu Sartu.